Hey, Newcastle crew. Well, back to the Newcastle crew podcast here on the Southgate Media Group podcast uh, network, whatever. It's Friday night. Don't expect me to be sober. <laughs> I'm Lil Pellfire, and joining me as always is... Hey, hey, it's Phil. Uh, up for discussion today is a live commentary for episode uh, five of season four of Arrow entitled Haunted. So, yeah, um, we're queued up at the 34 second marker. If you're on the Blu ray or DVD, you should see a shot of Star City. Yeah, let's just uh, get into it and I'll give you some fancy trivia as we go along. And you can check out my Constantine slash Cassio trench coat cosplay behind me. Actual Burberry, it's authentic. <laughs> um, anyway, let's just get started. We're gonna count down. <laughs> yep. Uh, on my mark, one, two, three, push play. Uh oh. Uh oh, what? Somebody dropped the trash. Oh. <laughs> Somebody's about to drop the trash. Yeah. <laughs> this is why I never got the speedy cut. I was always scared somebody would try to kill me. <laughs> I can't. W- w- were these guys mugging her or what? They're like, ooh, hey, yeah. girl, you look hot taking the trash out. <laughs> well, it's kind of a flashback of two when Sarah first shows up and she saves the girl from being raped oh, yeah. and, and then it turns. It's- Instead, here after she takes the guys out, she starts choking her and be like, "Ah, uh, the smush face, the smush dirty face makeup." Like Arrow just did not treat Katie Lutz right <laughs> at all. <laughs> she looks so much better on Legend, oh, dude. Yeah. Speaking of the speedy cut, <laughs> they never knew what they were gonna do with this character. What? Besides, but season boy- four, she boy- was boy- the best character. Besides giving her boyfriends that are evil. <laughs> Or, or go away. <laughs> I never really bought her and Roy. Fight me, nerds. I don't care. <laughs> I didn't dig their chemistry at all. I didn't believe it. So you're not going to believe it? I thought him and Sin should have been together, honestly. Sin? Who's that? They just <laughs> disappeared her real quick. Yeah. I I have a lot of feelings towards Sarah as a person. <laughs> Outside of her super vigilancy assassin persona as presented in arrow but that's a discussion for another day you know what thea has boyfriends that are convenient convenient boyfriends are convenient yes that's what annoys me oh no she's getting to talk about chavaquitic everybody yes bethany snow channel 52 take a drink so this episode was directed by john bedham and i don't think we ever saw him again it was written by brian ford sullivan and oscar balderrama it's just weird that he wrote the book and then they brought him on board. He wrote Arrow Vengeance. Mm, mm-hmm. I wonder who else wrote that. I'm looking like right at the book, but I can't see right now. But yeah, because you know who I would love to have hmm. on the Flash is the people that are the um the Clays. Yes, they should be on Flash, but they said they didn't have time. Yeah. But uh. Been speaking of aero novels, we'll be reviewing that one in April on our book. You know, the flash book got pushed back to May. What May 8th, I believe, not April 24th anymore. The pre release date changed anyway. Well, we'll review it when it comes out. Yeah, is it called Climate Changes? Is that the one? I don't know. I think, yeah, that's the one that got pushed back. Okay. These island flashbacks are the worst. Like, I was only here for Conklin for the flashbacks. And in this particular case, Matt Ryan. I don't know. Just the flashbacks this season, it seemed like very, very convenient because it's like, okay, well, <laughs> this is this island was used as a prison. And now this whole operation that's going on. And oh, by the way, there's like mystical artifacts on it also. <laughs> well, the drug dealing and the mystical artifacts go back to elements in the actual comic books during mm-hmm. Grail's run. Mm-hmm. So, and, and I thought that they were going to kind of go that way in season one. Mm-hmm. Like I thought we were going to explore that because we did actually see the sanctuary that we see in season five back in season one, and they kind of mm-hmm. hint around it, but doesn't matter because Leanne, Leanne, you is gone now. Oh wait, who is that? This uh, petty dabbler. Poor Quentin. It's always something with one of his daughters. I love it. Like which is just like, oh, it's a crazy. It was a crazy woman. Oh, it must be one of my daughters. Oh. Right. Remember when Laurel was still alive on this show? I know. I was watching this. I I watched. I rewatched this last night, and I was like, "Man, things have changed in two years." It's. 
I love the League of Assassins music just floating around in the back. <laughs> Hey, remember back in season one when Quentin had hair? Uh, he has hair again, doesn't he? He, he has hair again, right? It was just in this season four, I guess he shaved. It was a lot of stress. <laughs> he was dating Mama Smoke. Just saying. Was that, was, was, that, that, was that season four? That's season four. Okay. Oh, hey, look. It's uh, Curtis Holt. And his jacket has fair play written on it. Hit it, hit, 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 but he's going to become Mr. Terrific. That's his favorite wrestler. I never know why they went with the name Curtis. Did they feel like it was more black? Or... Uh, I don't know. No one cares, Felicity. You're a terrible CEO. Yeah. Do you think they remember he's an Olympic athlete, uh, Olympic level athlete or not? It seems like they only remember that when they need to. And the other time it's like, oh, look, he got beat up again. Or, hey, he's clumsy. No, they use him more for his tech skills than anything. It's like, why do we have two tech people and now three tech people in season six? Because that Alana girl I saw is back. I know. It's a. Uh... It's like, oh, there's two Felicities. See, his now Neil McDonough's scenes with Paul Blackthorne were amazing. Yeah. Anything else? Poop. They just didn't know how to translate his powers. It's like he's League of Assassin level awesome, and that's all we get. Oh, was, uh, the powers was just basically put his hand up, was like, freeze. Well, well, you know, and it's not, I don't understand why we couldn't use his magic because it's not like. Oliver actually fired any arrows during season four, which are CGI, which cost money. I think it was like literally like 20 the whole season or something like that. I have to go find my arrow count, but it was not a lot. <laughs> they used the arrow, but he's going magic. really slow with the. Uh... There we go. Get your butt to town. We'll have to, re we'll have to like remake this scene. <laughs> yes. You could beat me with sticks. <laughs> I'm like, no, there's only one man in my life I beat with sticks. That's my boyfriend. And I don't know what happened on the show, but Lil's taking a drink. This is why they put Thea in a coma. Why? When she, she's talking to like, and people, like, it's like the writers want you to forget that his life did not begin and end with Felicity. Mm -hmm. Like she's talking about like Laurel and Sarah and they've known each other. They've been in, you know, their lives forever. You wouldn't know that because they didn't interact over the, during the crossover. And in the book, Arrow, um, Fatal Legacies, they said she had a sisterly love for him. I'm like, after they were done boning? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this isn't the Flash where it's Beer and Iris. I'm just saying. I don't know, man. This Arrowverse, man. They have some weird ideas of family love, man. I love how, like, Sarah's how Sarah's, like, out of her head crazy and, the, like, soulless, but she had enough thought to, like, put a uh, jacket or sweater on. I just can't get over how much they hike up Katie Lutz's boobs. I don't know if you guys know this. She's actually only a B cup. <laughs> And that's a lot of hiking and padding. I'm just saying yeah, that could not say, be comfortable to fight in. When she was on Arrow, yeah, you definitely couldn't tell that. I actually appreciate that she said she needed her um costume changed because she wanted to do more of her stunts, which is why she has the new suit in Legends. Awesome. Shut up, Oliver. Like, don't even don't even look at my Laurel. Just shut up. God, I hate this. Although that black siren suit is a lot better than this old, this first one she wore. The bondage suit? Yeah. yeah. Like bondage cop, yeah. She's like carrying the nightstick, yeah. I didn't like Sarah's first canary costume either. That bolero, oh my god, check the receipts. I hated that thing. Wait, she wore a costume? <laughs> I know, the boobs are the distraction like Power Girl. <laughs> Yeah, I'm back to the flashback in Constantine. 
see this is, in season four this was like the only week every any everybody wanted the flashbacks because you're like oh hey there's constantine yeah he saved this this week's flashbacks for sure mm-hmm which I mean, you really, I mean, I guess you want to show where they met, but I'm like, they could have put him more in the present day though, too. Yeah, I would have loved for him to be more in the present day, but also they had to fit this around Matt Ryan's schedule. This hmm. was actually the fourth episode shot, but this is the fifth episode in the season itself because they were working around his schedule because he had already Constantine at this point had been canceled for a while, and he was back in London doing plays and doing some voiceover work and stuff, so his schedule was really busy, and we were really lucky to actually get him. So, hmm? I don't know how I um, feel about Constantine's contribution to Oliver's scars and tattoos, though. I felt like that didn't make sense to me. I mean, I liked it, but it didn't make sense to me. And we never saw that part of the arrow verse again, uh, the arrow cave again. <laughs> I know. Well, I mean, the, I mean, stuff happened in that arrow cave last season in season five. Even but... in this season, we never saw I that. Know, I know. Like, well, I know. Like, I was watching this. I was like, oh, wait, oh, yeah, that's right. There was like once or twice where they actually pull into the garage. There's like a garage. Right? It's not like he even rides the arrow bikes anymore. Last time. Oh, no, he rode it in season five. When the recruits are going to, after him? No, he was on a bike this season, I think, but they don't show him in the cave. They don't show the bikes or they don't show any vehicles in the cave anymore. Yeah, I miss the foundry. I'm old school, dude. Well, you, when you have so many characters, you need a bigger layer. Good grief, Diggle's arms are big. <laughs> but I'm going to tell you, David Ramsey skips leg days. He's got some chicken legs. <laughs> That's why they don't really... Well, watch the training scene. He skips leg day. <laughs> I like Diggle and Quentin working together. I almost wish Diggle was a cop. Make him more interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Diggle does nothing anymore. Like, I remember I used to always be so hyped in season two for Diggle to go out in the field. Now it's just like, don't you have a wife and kids? Like, what are you doing? It's just, and it's just, again, there's so many characters. It's like, you know, poor Diggle's been getting the shaft because, um, shake your hand. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Shake well, it's shake it. This was the dumbest way to resolve his brother arc, by, by the way. They dragged this damn thing out till it had no chance of making sense. Well, how did you want to resolve it? Why did you? He shouldn't. Why did you go evil, Andy? Because you tried to sleep with my wife. <laughs> I'm saying, I'm saying we never brought that up. Oh, no. It, it just makes the dead shot stuff seem stupid. Mm-hmm. Oliver. <laughs> My pain is important, Oliver. No one else's. Poor Emily Bet. I know. She has know. some kind of movie out, I guess. Oh, does she? It's like some indie movie, and it's got mixed reviews. And it's huh. just like, I want Emily Beck to blow up so they, they're they forced to get rid of the character of Felicity. I don't want her to die. I don't want her to be another senseless woman that's been fridged for man pain. I, I like want that character to just be written out into the sunset. I don't know if I agree with that. I like the character. I just wish they would write her better sometimes. There's there's no saving her now that she's married to Oliver. Like, it's such a hypocrite. Like, I just, I can't deal with it. She's wow. a badly written character. I mean, now that, that, that they're married, or they get, I mean, it's not this season, but too, I mean, is she going to eventually? Oh, season them? cliffhanger for season six. Felicity goes to the doctor and she's pregnant. I can almost guarantee you that is the season six cliffhanger. I swear there was a, there was at least this episode or two where she was like, oh, why am she I She passed, so she didn't drink the champagne at the girls' night. They're, I'm just saying. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They, they pander to a certain set of people to in this show. Oh, especially. And that, Especially if Iris gets pregnant. I mean, she can never have her own moment. Iris can never have her own moment. Iris is going to have twins, step... though. So Felicity would have to have triplets. <laughs> and I don't think that the Flash Riders are going to tell the Arrow Raiders that 
uh, Iris is having twins. Well, because I don't think anybody reads comic books on the Arrow. Oh, okay, I was gonna say if they read comics, they might know that. <laughs> they don't read the Arrow ones, let alone Flash. Come on, be serious. Oh, Sarah Smash. I like this kind of Sarah, actually. What? Don't judge me. Talk about a cat fight. Meow. Meow. <laughs> Like, I love how Thea is staying at Laurel's. Huh? Because Felicity lives in her apartment that her dad bought her. <laughs> exactly. <sighs> she, well, you know, she's like, you know, anywhere, just so I don't have to listen to Felicity bone my brother. Well, I mean, she did. Granted, she did die in there. Not almost kind of, sort of, but she straight up died. And again, she don't want to hear Felicity bone her brother. <laughs> There's the music. <laughs> Between this music and the Constantine theme, the music was so good in this episode. Hmm. Exorcism. This is just exorcism music all day, every day. But like when they first when they when they first found Sarah, I all you know, I I, I forgot what it was like for Theta like suit up. <laughs> yeah. And we never saw it again. I'm kidding. <laughs> We haven't seen Thea suit up in a long time. Thea spends a lot of time in the hospital. Almost as much as Oliver in season one. I'm just saying. Mm -hmm. That does not look like a hospital set to me. I'm just saying. <laughs> Why? It just doesn't. It's rich people's hospital. Nah. No? Nah. -uh. nah. Nah. Old Star City. Why are you here, Felicity? You badmouthed her mother at her own funeral. Get out! <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Shut up, Oliver. <laughs> Don't talk to my Laura. I hate you. Well, I mean, she this this all did happen. He did it for Thea, but it wasn't okay to do it for Sarah. He's well, as he her. said, Thea wasn't dead. Sarah was completely dead. Thea was dead. Listen to us fighting like Oliver and Laurel. <laughs> Thea was. It's Thea like was anytime dying. he talks to Laurel in the hallway, I get nervous. Like I just wanted to punch him in the face. <laughs> Thank you! Exactly. Because nobody know. likes you, Laurel. I'm sorry. Tina Nero just leaves you in the dark. Well, again, well, you know, just the way she was written, I mean, I think they're, they're writing her a lot better as Black Siren. I don't know. For the most part, I mean, there are. I, I mean, mean, she works for any bad guy. Like, it's just, I just gave up well, on her. But I'm thinking you know, they could turn it around where she has like her own agenda, or so, you know. And then Quentin has kidnapped her and handcuffed her to a chair. It's yeah, that's kind of creepy. Yeah, yeah. You'll be my daughter now. The doll maker rubbed off on him, son. Ew. <laughs> no doll maker in the Arrowverse. Yeah, I know. I know. Not the doll maker in the Gotham verse. <laughs> Ain't nothing right about those Gotham villains. Unless it's the penguin. Penguin is awesome. Till he goes all cannibal. Still awesome. Mm -hmm. Oh, back to the Constantine flashback. He doesn't have his trench coat. It's a bummer. Well, I mean, it's. <laughs> Are we saying, you know, Hot Island? <laughs> Well, he could wear that and nothing else. That'd be more constantly. Oh, good lord. <laughs> I'm just saying. I didn't know this was going to be like porn for you when I suggested it. But, uh, well, no, I mean, I mean, if you were really want a reason, you, you know, they searched him. So they took the code in case he had like weapons in the pockets or something. Or you just empty the pockets. Anyway, we've seen Constantine and his tidy whiteys on his own show. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> if you have any pictures of Constantine or um, say Steve fan Tre- art, Steve I'm Steve asking for fan art. Constantine or Steve <laughs> Trevor, send them to at Little Hellfire. I have a type apparently. Who knew? <laughs> yeah, DC males. <laughs> If you want to do the trifecta, send her Aquaman pictures also. Although I'll take them as Jason Momoa's Aquaman if if, if I can request. <laughs> I watched a horrible movie with Jason Momoa. It it was about cannibals and the end of the world. And hmm. I was like, I have to watch it though. I have to finish it. <laughs> now look. <laughs> Just like from this season. This is where the internet is. I know, right? <laughs> like, I don't think writers have a clue about anything technologically advanced. I love like, oh, I mean, uh, I'm sure stuff has lights on it, but do they have this many lights on it? I feel like that was just sure. like one of those extension cords. Those like, um, <laughs> you plug like your, your electronics into and they just, yeah, I feel like that was what that was. That was it. Um, it's only fair you did kill her, Thea. I'm just saying. You kill me, I kill you. Thank you. See, Thea's sensible. She knows. Hmm? Nobody told Laurel anything, and this is just so messed up. Although, I guess, I mean, if you want, like, an explanation of, like, some of the bad writing, I mean, you could say Oliver Queen is the Jim Gordon of this uh, universe. You know what I mean? He drives the women crazy because he's basically, I mean, he slept with both Land sisters. He slept with Felicity. Maybe that's why they're all crazy. Well, I don't don't think that Sarah, Laurel, or Felicity are crazy at all. Well, Um, maybe that's how I'm not crazy, but that's how you, like, uh. He's just, I mean, I don't think Oliver's changed enough for us to be rooting for him. I, I like, I just have a thing about Arrow and the way that they write these characters. Like, I, I try to because I love Green Arrow and they do have some good stuff. Like, yeah. And again, with all those new recruits, it's like, you don't have to really have time to, like, you know, like give any, you know, grow any characters because you got to deal with I, so many people. Like, no offense to the character, to, no, to the actress that plays uh, Black Canary, the new Black Canary. That that was the most forced thing I've ever seen, and I I, I do watch Big Bang on occasion. <laughs> okay, I do watch Days of Our I have watched Days of Our Lives on occasion. Mm-hmm. You're I, not a very good lookout, Laurel. I don't I don't know. I just have the feeling that they might be killing off that. Do you think they might kill off that Black Canary at some point and like? They can she should have been Lady Blackhawk. We all know, know it. And then Black Siren kind of comes around to the the. That'd be so gross. Team Arrow side. That'd be so gross. Like just don't. I don't want another female character to die. Just write them off. Or yeah, or she just leaves. Well, with Vigilante dead, even though he has a healing factor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or she goes to prison for something. <laughs> yeah, like you said, nice, nice lookout, Laurel. <laughs> God, they just write Laurel so terrible. I, I just okay. I don't think they're on the first floor. So how? Sarah's an assassin. She's B A M F, yo. Yeah, but she, she's like, if she can't Batman you, she's jumping out the window, she's bro. She's like, like an animal at this point. So what? She had the time to think of leaving a line out there. <laughs> They um they have Miracu. See, this is my theory. Oliver and Sarah both have Miracu in their system because they were experimenting on the Amazo, and that's just a plot line that never really got explored or resolved. Nice. Because remember in season one where he's running down a motorcycle? Who can do yeah. that? True. True, true. It was well, just who, things that they who, never got around to doing. Well, who can get stabbed and dropped off a cliff and live? <gasps> Miracuru. Miracuru and Lazarus hey. Pitwater. 
Well, no, if he has the Mirakuru, he'd have a he'd have some, somewhat of a healing factor, wouldn't he? But it fades away after a while. Yeah, as but we I'm, see with Manu, maybe it's well, maybe, yeah. Well, maybe it's not like a Deathstroke, Deadpool type heal. Maybe it's just like a tiny healing factor. A gun and a lighter. Oh yeah, that's all you need. Oh, Lord. Wherever you're going drinking tonight, people beware. <laughs> All you need is a gun and a liar. I am in Florida. For now. For now. <laughs> I'm going to enjoy I'm gonna enjoy the gun privileges of Florida for a while. <laughs> oh, Lord. When you get to Canada. I'll be so happy. Strip, strip club. I'm going to be not life. that far from the Arrowverse. Mm. I'm not gonna be like a creepy set stalker though, because I won't have time. Why? <laughs> have a real. I will have a real job. <laughs> the only thing I don't get about season four is why they put the idol back together. Like if they never would have put it back together, it would have never been a problem. I know. Oh yeah. If you're watching this with the captions, heavy grunting. <laughs> Oh, I thought you were just saying that when Oliver tackled uh, Constantine, you're like, oh, yeah. Still a better love story than Elocity. I was going to say, I was say, you're like, oh, see, my fanfic did come true. Oh, oh, don't, don't even. There's so much fanfic. A Luddite is someone who doesn't care for technology, in case you don't know. <laughs> I think the only people who don't know what Luddite, Luddite means are Luddites. <laughs> Ironically. Look, I'm the bad guy. I wear all black. Or he could just be super emo. <laughs> he could be a vampire kid for all you know, Phil. Immortal emo. <laughs> Immortal emo kid. Every time I see uh, Neil McDonough, all I can think of is that uh, movie with him and The Rock. Like this is this is who he's playing. That guy from the movie with The Rock. What is it? Walk tall. Maybe or he was in Captain America: The First Avenger. I I I believe I, don't... He, I believe he was dumb dumb Dugan. Oh really? I think so. Yeah. I. I'm pretty sure that's him. I can't fact check you on that. I'm not Charlie Esser. I don't. I don't care about the Marvel MCU. <laughs> oh yeah, I gotta gotta get that drop in. When they're dropping, the superhero drop in. No, I know. The Terminator drop in. Actually, that's what they call it. There's another drop. There's some. God, you suck, Laurel. <laughs> Oliver drops from the ceiling. God, they Laurel. made this Laurel. black canary suck balls. I, Oliver drops from the ceiling. Laurel just like jumps over the bar. <laughs> Smart. I'm trying. I mean, they set up the Black Canary to fail in this universe. She yeah. was already not a vigilante before he got back. He boned her sister. She had they retconned her fighting skills in season two. That's no way to start. I mean, you're never gonna get back together. I don't care if you're Saint Laurel or not. You're never ever getting back together after that. I don't know. They both that is an awkward threesome, son. Uh, they both in season one, even though he took her uh, Sarah on the. Uh... But not her. And that was that was so not right oh, then and there. Let me make a call. <laughs> There's the trench coat. That's why these we had these John Constantine flashbacks. <laughs> well, I guess you don't read synopsis or your episode uh blur when you're watching setting your DVR. No, I do. I'm just being. I know. <laughs> Demonologist, master of the black arts. <laughs> Petty dabbler. Let's not get any grandiosity over here. And that's a reference to the Constantine TV show where he uh, uh, exercised a demon from mm -hmm. Caliban? Rage Caliban? I forget which episode that was. He didn't have time to translate from the Aramaic. Aramaic and Nokian, you have to know all that stuff if you're going to be even just a petty dabbler of the dark arts. Oliver, I would have stopped by sooner if you knew there were all these pretty girls here. 
I, I was just waiting for Oliver to say, stay away from my sister. And He's my, not her type. And my girlfriend. And my ex. And my other ex. <laughs> you see, you people, some of you people think you have soulless exes. Watch this episode. <laughs> Oh, here it comes. I think I got everything. Why did you need this peacock feather? I love the peacock feather as a reference to NBC. I was going to say, I basically needed to give the finger to NBC. Yes. <laughs> this was like one of the first leak scenes that we saw. If, you, if you're a pirate. It would have been better if he like scratched his butt with it or something. Tickled his balls. <laughs> <laughs> Like NBC doesn't deserve another DC show ever. What is that? What is that? The, all the all the stuffs in that he lights on fire. Is that like it looks like a giant version of the top hat from Monopoly or something? <laughs> I'm sure it's a special ceremonial bowl. Oh, uh, yeah. Felicity got bowl. that real quick too. <laughs> he does light it on fire, right? Yeah, it doesn't smoke. <laughs> <laughs> And again, <laughs> holding hands. Uh oh. Only like, okay, somebody's gonna get pregnant. <laughs> I can only take two of you. Okay, Oliver's like, okay, hey, Laurel. <laughs> Just hope you die on the other side so we can be done with this not, mess. Because not like Diggle or like even Thea's a better fighter than you. <laughs> well, it's not even about a fighter. I felt I thought it was about like people that love her. They had to. I think or so. Like yeah, but it, it wouldn't Quentin even have been a better choice? <laughs> He has a heart condition, Philip. I know this. I know the show has forgotten it, but I haven't forgotten it. Yeah, but that's, not, yeah, but that's not your body, there, is it? It's just like your spirit, isn't it? And you can you can take on psychic damage. Mm, true, as we learned with Professor X. <laughs> Since the Arrow show, the Arrowverse loves to reference Marvel so much. Spider Man. Flash does it a lot. Mm hmm. Hulk, Spider Man. See, that's the thing. I I, I could have done with less flashbacks, even though they were good with Constantine. And like, I don't know. It seems to me they get out of here with Sarah a little too really quick, quick and too yeah, easy. Most of the episode should have been them here. It should have been let's real, Laurel is a terrible fighter, so the less time we spend here, the better. I know. Well, she could have taken some damage and, you know, they could have had to gone like through a couple trowels or something. It just seemed like they went up to the jacuzzi, ripped her out and that. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> and this is the most special effects we got all season. Just that look <laughs> on Moral's face. It's like, that's not an ordinary Zippo, is it? Dude, that suit looks so bad in the daytime. Oh, hers? <laughs> yeah. It's like, how many zippers and pouches? <laughs> this looks like a Deadpool outfit from the 90s, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't even look like, it doesn't look that good in the dark, but yeah, in the light, it's even more. I'm sorry, fishnets would have been a better choice. <laughs> <laughs> well, you have your thing, too. You have a fetish, too. <laughs> Comic accuracy? Yeah, I do. I'm sorry, Phil. I know. <laughs> so, wouldn't it have made more sense for... Oh, I mean, I guess, since it's all mystical, Constantine fights the guy, but wouldn't it make more sense for Oliver to fight the guy and Constantine to use his magic to get Sarah out of... There's no such thing as logic! Only organicness, especially in season four of Arrow. Come on, Philip. And why did the demon... What is the demon or whatever just like a, the... Like he's in the league of assassins. I mean, it's he kind of explained it. It's how the brain is comprehending it. True, true, yeah. And so the League of Assassins at this point had been a big deal. They killed Oliver, they killed Thea, they killed Sarah, because yeah. Malcolm is technically a member of the League of Assassins. So And they're back. Ugh. Can you stop touching each other for two seconds, Velocity? <laughs> there was like magic. I hate it. I hate everything. That can't be explained normally. I'm old and scared. Oh, no wonder you don't like the Arrowverse <laughs> anymore. You know, David Ramsey's really good on Blue Bloods. I'm just saying. Oh, he's on it's Blue Bloods. Like he has to be. He he was on a couple of seasons of Blue Bloods because oh. it's owned by CBS, which is partially owned by 
CW. But he was really good on there, the couple episodes that I saw. So it's not like he has to be stuck here. Maybe he likes it there. I don't know why, but... I was going to say, yeah, after season two, when Felicity really stole his shine, I don't know why. He's a good actor. Yeah. He should be in, like, a comedy or something. Maybe he's like, hey, it's a paycheck, and I'm going to do a lot. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> pretty much. I mean, it's, it's a pretty cushy job, as far as acting goes, in a action ensemble show. See, and here's the here's the part where it's like, you know, Constantine's like, oh, it's Damien Dark. Oh, you don't want to mess with I me. I gotta get out of here. It's just well, like, girl, toss pot. It's like, meanwhile, Oliver takes him out with an arrow, doesn't he? <laughs> no, he punches him to death, pretty much, and then jabs the arrow. Yeah, around. yeah, yeah. So, but I'm just like, if he's if he's as powerful as Constantine's, you know. Well, it was like the hope spell and a whole, yeah. I don't even know. That was like the worst season finale I'd ever seen. Yeah, but where did Oliver get that, that spell from? Constantine, so constant uh, i don't know it it was forced i'm like i'm like charlie s are trying to find logic in a dc movie uh... yikes arrow hasn't made sense since season 3b though to be fearful and you're still watching 3b i thought you're gonna say 3a <laughs> i like the murder mystery i just you know after he fell off that cliff it was all downhill from there but that's what i'm saying 3b is uh, yeah. That's after the cliff. Yep. Back to the island. I hate that he got a buzz clip. Like, I absolutely hate that that they started this season with the buzz well, clip. Well, what do you want? Do you want the buzz clip or do you want the struggle wig? I want the struggle wig. You're an actor. I don't care that you feel like you're gaining in prominence on your own show. You wear that damn struggle wig because it's part of the story. <laughs> And what did we get? We got a freaking wig because you didn't want to wear the struggle wig. We got a Fabio wig. <laughs> Bang! Here, you give Ryder the pretty part. That's all they want anyway. Pretty much. Head cannon. Ryder wanted to tap that. He was so pretty that he just overlooked how terrible Oliver was at his job. I'm just saying. Dean's want to know how she writes her fanfic. Well, Sla queen of the slash fic. It's true. I don't know how I turned into such a little slash fic shipper. I really don't. I blame it on the Supernatural fandom. Supernatural reference. <laughs> Take a drink. I don't know, but you just flashed your abs that we haven't seen in like two and a half seasons. <laughs> the only way what if he would have left on the boat with Constantine? That would have been amazing. Well, that's, gonna, that's what I was just thinking. I was like, well, I guess he's he's trying to figure out what's going on in the island, but I'm Who like, cares? Constantine has a way on and off the island, I guess, so why doesn't Oliver just go? Because I can't go home yet. It's only been four years. Constantine does not know how to throw a punch. Well, he doesn't rely solely on the physical. He's a magic. I know, but I mean, he he was a street he was a street rat for a while. Street rats know how to fight. He got lazy once he learned the magic. All right, fair enough. <laughs> once he learned the magic. Yeah, uh, does Thea go That's what I tell people too. So at least this season, Thea goes for a guy who kind of resembles he her was brother. Kinda yeah. I think the flash was rubbing off on them at this point. Half, half brother. Only half brother. Plot twist, he's not really her brother at all. Moira wasn't even his mom. <laughs> she adopted him. Okay, Tony Stark. Oh, that comic book origin is so messed up. I mean, it's a comic book origin. Of course, it's messed up. Well, I'm sure it'll be retconned eventually. Like they kept trying to patch it up, but like I just could never believe them even being friends. I don't know why she wanted to be on Team Arrow. Like, yes, so. they never supported. Well, Diggle kind of sort of supported her, but they cut that storyline short. She has say, I well, you know, she has she had an issue where you know, just like I, she has to prove to him that I that she's his equal. 
Meanwhile, the the new recruits in the next season and the season after that just sure. Felicity said you're cool, so you're cool. Let's do it. No, we're not working together. We're not working together. And then every episode, it's like Diggle says, "We need the others." And Oliver's like, "Okay." Nothing's changed, Toss. That's my new meme. Thank you, Reddit. Toss. <laughs> right? That's what he said. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, yeah, I think in many ways and many variations this season. Yeah. Yes. Nothing. Cha- every episode, nothing's changed, Toss. We're not coming back. Meanwhile, in Back to Basics, spoiler 618, I'm pretty sure they're going to have some, they're going to reconcile their differences. Well, it's, it's, it looks like stuff comes to a head next episode when it comes back. So, now, I always, in my head, Andy was the bigger brother, but he's like the little brother. Is he, isn't he like the older brother, but he's but shorter? Little, yeah. yeah he's- but I think I feel like they retconned that he was his little brother now. Oh, I, have, I I can't sit through season four to confirm. Hmm. So if anybody knows the answer to this, please tweet me at Lil Pelfire the answer to this burning question. <laughs> That's not how you treat an Olympic body. I'm sorry. What with uh, energy monster? Day. Let's just be real. It's all monster. No. <laughs> Well, they, I mean, they, they just wanted another excuse to make him the, the male Felicity. No, he's like the male Garcia from, I'm um, not Garcia, Abby, Abby Shudo from um, NCIS, mm. because she he has like a thing for those big gulp energy things. Well, oh, they man, just want him little... talking fast, and I mean. Did I say NCIS? Yeah, NCIS. So many of them on CBS, don't judge me. Uh, the Gibbs slap, whatever the Gibbs slap. Yeah, just like all the other old people. Dude, that was my jam for a while. Mark Harmon is old, but he can get it. <laughs> Mark Harmon, that's at Lil Hellfire. Perfect. <laughs> and the Arrow logo is over. <laughs> my favorite part at the end of the episode, music by Blake Neely. Honestly, like, like, let's like, just be real. Like, Arrow just pandered to the fans. This was at, at one of the highest rated episodes of season four for a reason. Well, I mean, if they didn't. They know. introduced a lot of people to Constantine that might have not seen his show. Well, I mean, if He's they didn't do it, the if they didn't do it, I mean, Constantine wasn't coming back. I mean, well, unless they just went right to the Legends thing or whatever, but which he doesn't show up. But, like, I feel like he should have showed up in season five, but I understand Matt Ryan has a real life. I get it. I don't like it, but I get it. We all want Constantine. <laughs> but I still would give this episode a B minus. It was slow. It was kind of nonsensical in parts. CW, pay him the money. Either give him his own live action series again or, you know, put him on Legends or something or at least reoccurring on Arrow or some, you know, all over. Yeah, reoccurring on Legends would be great. He just kind of like pops him out. Don't you think that would like bump the numbers up ratings wise? You know what? I didn't check the the, um, Uh, the ratings for this week. I should have done that, but I'm sure it took a slight. I'm sure at least a slight bump, if not more. I don't know because the Olympics, it's just hard to tell with the Olympics. Like people love to be patriotic when the Olympics. I'm like, it's the Winter Olympics. It's not even the Summer Olympic Olympics, right? We got 17 year olds winning snowboarding. Since when is snowboarding an Olympic sport? I'm old, damn it. You either uh, do skeet shoot or nothing. <laughs> it's Winter Olympics. There's no skin showing. <laughs> I mean, beach volleyball and gymnastics. I mean, I do have a theme in my life. I'm just saying. <laughs> Those are only two summer sports that, oh no, I take it back. And karate. I care about that. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> what would you give this episode? Um, hmm. Arrow and Constantine. Uh, I don't know. I'd probably give it a B minus. I'm, I just wish we would have got more Constantine in the present, in present day. Like I said, more in like the, uh, Hell dimension or whatever it was. I feel like they could have made him a little more quippy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But you know what? I, uh, Felicity didn't get a lot of p- speaking parts. So you know what? B plus. <laughs> <laughs> I changed my mind. Anyway, that has been our discussion on episode 405, Haunted of Arrow. And I was kind of weirded out because Haunted is the name of a comic book issue. Um, from you know season two point five of Arrow, mm. um, the comic books, and that one was featuring the Huntress. So I was kind of like, oh, no, they're gonna have Constantine. We don't have time for Huntress. 
I keep hearing that she's going to come back, but I don't believe them. Although, isn't she showing up in the comic soon? The Constantine comic soon? Is she? Oh, yeah. She is, right? When Seely comes back. But yeah. not that Huntress, right? What? Or is it that Huntress? The, Which Huntress is it? The, the Rebirth Huntress. The one from Grayson, I believe. I oh, think. okay. That should be good. Yeah, when, whenever Seely comes back. I don't know if he's back next with the next issue, but yeah, when Seely comes back, it's... Very good. You got some time for some shameless plugs? Uh, yeah. Uh, Newcastle Crew at gmail.com, facebook.com slash Newcastle Crew podcast at Newcastle Crew on Twitter, and the voicemail 614 382 2737. That's 614 38 capes. It didn't last long enough. Um, you can find me. Um, if you want to fight me, nerds, you can find me at Little Pop Fire or at Adventures in FG everywhere. That's Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, and Twitter at Adventures in FG or live tweeting Black Lightning and maybe Legends, maybe Legends at Little Hellfire. So everything else is pretty much gone. So Slim Pickens, come join us. <laughs> Bill, where can people find you? You can always get a hold of me, nightwingpdp at gmail.com. And on Twitter, I am at nightwingpdp if you would like to ask me about what is the Capes and Lunatic Sidekicks. Well, if they listen to the podcast, obviously they've already discovered it. True, true, true. I guess I'm speaking more to YouTube, but... All right, Hellblazers. It's uh, it's a Friday night. We're getting out of here. I'm getting drunk, and I'm sure Phil's family is going to be home, and he's going to tuck his little one in. So, you know, you got two choices. (laughs) Until next time, guys. See you in hell, Squire.